Hi, I am Virendra Rajput from CAD Learning Resources. In this Katia tutorial, you will learn to draw this simple 2D sketch. So let's start. Click on Start, go to Mechanical Design, click either Part Design or Sketcher, enter Part Name, Simple 2D Sketch 2, click OK. Select YZ Plane and click Sketch. Make sure snap to point is deactivated. It should be in blue color. You can make grid visible and invisible from here. Now let us begin with center lines with these dimensions. So double click on axis. Click here and drag the mouse. If the line is white, it is not perfect vertical. Line turns into blue color that means it's vertical so click here again draw two vertical lines similarly again two vertical lines on the opposite side now draw three horizontal lines click here so when line turns blue just click here Another horizontal line, click here and here. So to come out of the command, again click on axis. Now let us make these two lines symmetric with the vertical axis. So click this line, press and hold control, click this line and then the center line. Now click constraint define in dialog box and choose symmetry ok so to apply dimensions double click on constraint click on this line and this line drag the mouse and click where you want to place the dimension again click this line this vertical line drag the mouse click here again select these two horizontal lines click here And last these two vertical lines and click here to come out of the command click on constraint so to relocate this dimension you can just click on the arrow and drag it now click edit multi constraint now this highlighted dimension is 80.90 so we want to change this to 60 so directly type here 60 from the keyboard and click on the next dimension so this is, this is 52 so we want it 30 so type 30 from keyboard click on the next dimension here 30 click on the next dimension here 45 click here 45 and click ok one more time ok just relocate these dimensions click press and hold and drag we'll draw these circles double click on circle now we'll draw this circle first so just drag the mouse here as soon as both these line turns into orange color Click here as a center point of the circle, drag the mouse and click. Again, go here, click one more circle. So here it is important that these both the lines should be orange when you click the center point of the circle. That means it's the perfect intersection. Suppose you don't uh, see these lines in orange color. So what you can do somewhere you just draw one circle to come out of the circle command. Click on the circle. Click on the center point. Press and hold control and click this line. Then click constraint define in dialog box and make it coincide. Click OK. Again, select this point, 
center point of the circle press and hold control now click vertical line okay make it coincidence and okay now to apply dimensions double click on constraint click here on the circle and click here now it is showing radius we want this diameter of 12 so just double click here and from here you can make it diameter now double click here and type 12 then okay now click this circle and apply all the dimensions to come out of the command click on constraint now we have to make all these circles of equal diameter that is 12 so at the bottom you will find equivalent dimension click here click edit list here you will find radius just click here so this circle is uh, selected again press and hold control button and select all the radius for which you have to make same dimension then click on the right arrow click ok and here you have to type the radius because it is the radius so we want diameter 12 so type here 6 and then click ok double click on the circle just go here and when the blue filled circle is visible click because we have to draw concentric circles so click here drag the mouse now from keyboard press tab key three times so radius is highlighted type 9 from the keyboard and enter similarly we have to complete all other circles just to come out of the command click on circle now click on the down arrow of line and choose third option that is by tangent line select this circle and this circle so this tangent line is drawn again double click on by tangent line click this circle and this circle again this and this now to come out of the command click on by tangent line now select line and click here draw vertical line make sure the tangent symbol is uh, visible here now this line is tangent to the upper circle so this is not the required condition for us the required condition is that this line should be tangent to the bottom circle so just click here now again take line click here drag the mouse and draw horizontal line this time also this line should be tangent to the highlighted circle click here now select this point press and hold control and select this upper horizontal line click constraint define in dialog box and click coincidence and ok now from trim select third option that is quick trim and click on this segment so this extra part will be removed now to now to apply radius here select corner click horizontal and this vertical line drag the mouse and click here double click on the dimension this radius is 4.6 click ok select this line press and hold control this line this line click on mirror and select the central axis now double click on quick trim and select the unwanted segments to come out of the command click on quick trim so in this way we have completed this simple 2d sketch 
Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like and share. Thank you.